Hey guys, it's Willie. Today, I want to take a look at Under Armour stock. They talked about earnings today. As you can see up towards the top there, they released earnings. It's gone down big today, down 9%, 9.5%. But I want to point out that even over the past year, Under Armour's down 21%. So really, when looking for value plays, like I do, you're looking for stocks that have fallen out of favor for no particular reason. You're looking for companies like, a company like Intel, let's say, that's still growing, they're doing well, but the stock is unloved for no reason whatsoever. The market seems to hate it for no reason. Today I want to look at Under Armour because it's, being hated for a reason. There's a reason it's falling. It's not, oh look, it's only $18, let's buy it. It's actually a case of, it's actually not that good. So I'm gonna switch over to our spreadsheet over here. So, our first few metrics that I like to look at. Revenue, net income, cash flow from operations. This is where your business is getting its money from. So, under Armour over the past 10 years has grown revenue, which is, you know, our first thing we look at that's good. However, from then on, you start running into problems. Your net income has gone from 96 million to, five, to a negative 549 million in 2020. And even if we go from the year prior where it was positive, you're flat. I mean, you're down a little bit, but basically flat over nine years when you've seen big time revenue growth but they're not making any money cash flow from operations that looks better but the problem with that is is that after you take out the capital expenditures you're left with free cash flow that is less than ideal you know you're not seeing big time free cash flow and so, moving to shares, shares are increasing, they're diluting us. Earnings per share, you've got negative spots. For a company like Under Armour, I don't see why it should be negative. Free cash flow, you know, our, see it's, it's, our growth rate here is because you're going from a negative number to a positive number. But look, from here to there, you're not growing any. I mean, I know COVID hit, but guys, this number here was in 2018. This is 2019. This is 2020. These negative years were before we even heard of COVID and the pandemic and everything. So meanwhile, when net income has gone into the dumps, debt has gone up faster than revenue. It's grown faster than revenue. Cash is growing, which is somewhat confusing. I mean, really confusing, because your net income is negative. Your free cash flow has been negative for some time. So I don't understand how they're growing this cash. It couldn't have been from free cash flow. It would have had to have been taking on debt to put that into the cash. I don't like that. So your net debt is going up and up and up and up and up. And your return on invested capital, it used to be great. And then it just fell apart. I don't know what happened to this company, but it looks like from 2017 on, things got rough. I don't quite know why. So if we switch over here to our metrics, your PE, even though it's green, they're negative which is technically less than 20, but it's negative. You don't want it to be negative. That means they're not making any money, which they aren't. The little free cash flow that they have, it's grossly overpriced based on that. Your debt, I think your debt's too high compared to the very low free cash flow. Five-year revenue growth, it's gone down over the past five years. Earnings and free cash flow, you're dealing with some negative numbers in there, so you're getting error messages. 
it's not really all that great. So let's see, earnings or net income, you're going down to a negative number. You're not growing. Your free cash flow, starting from what here, you're going from a negative to positive. I mean, free cash flow is growing, I guess. That's good. But shares outstanding are going up. Your return on invested capital only averages 1%. One and three quarter percent. But I mean, come on, minus 21, that's ridiculous. Anyway, um, so when I'm forecasting, I'm saying zero. I even gave them credit and said, okay, earnings, you had a bad year. Let's say you go back to positive, but it stays kind of flat as it has previously. So you're seeing now that, you know, I'm looking at 3 to $4 price target. Currently, it's at 18 Split the difference, 350. IRR calculator in at 18, out at 350. Cash flows of 26 cents, minus 13. Guys, I don't see a reason why I would be even remotely interested in this stock. I know it's dropped a lot today. Don't take that as a signal of, oh, it's gotten cheap. No, I don't see it being cheap until it's, you know. Four dollars, I mean, or less. You know, I don't. So what would what would our price have to be? What would we put in for? You're still not even getting a market return. So guys, I just wanted to make this video to kind of point out a stock that drops a lot, so it looks like it's cheap. It's not cheap. Make sure you check your financials. Make sure you check the numbers. Do your due diligence. That's the whole point. But yeah, I'd definitely be staying away from this company. And that's really all I have to say about that. Just wanted to kind of point out that you need to be careful when you're investing. Because if you buy into companies like these, and you know, Under Armour's got a name. Seems like a good company. But based on, based on the numbers, it's just, it's not happening. Nothing good has come out of this company since 2016. So... I'm going to avoid it for now until such time as it drops or the fundamentals come up. I'm going to stay out of it. But just a reminder, just a reminder, always do your due diligence, do your research before buying any stock. But that's all I have to say. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the drill. I will catch you guys in the next video.